Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and on this episode, this is the second episode, I'm going to be looking at this 1978 Honda CB754 cylinder. Uh, over the past week or so, I've just been ordering stuff. I have a pile of stuff here, you know, the handlebars were bent. I'll go through everything that I got. I didn't have a chain on it when it came with it. I haven't taken this forward drive sprocket off, cover off yet to check the sprocket out. I did feel it and it felt fine. So I didn't worry about that. I just ordered a chain. The sprocket back here looks fine. The little guard around it looks like it's bent. So I'm guessing something just happened at some point that damaged the chain and that's why it was removed. Uh, so flip this around here, just amongst the stuff is most of the stuff I've already ordered. I, there's still a few things that I haven't gotten here yet. New billet throttle. I went for mid-range quality, not the cheapest stuff, not the most expensive. Yeah, this is the accelerator pump. I have a carb rebuild kit down in there somewhere. So what I'm gonna do today is take the carbs off and I've got this fuel tank back here with a couple of little dents in it. I'm um, hoping I can get those out, but it's not a huge deal if not. Okay, so the dent on this side is bigger. This is a four and a half gallon tank. Let's see, not huge. I'm gonna repaint it because it was burnt and the clear coat's chipping off. Got the easy screw on emblem, so that's gonna be nice. Take this dent out and this dent out. Hopefully, and clean everything up. This is a four and a half gallon tank, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy five gallons of vinegar today. I'll fill that up and seal it off and leave that sit for a couple of days and probably start cleaning up this paint, prepping it for uh, some new some new paint on it. I haven't decided exactly what I want to do, but I think I want to do a mixture of uh, satin black and matte black. Seat cover isn't here yet. That was checked in in Florida like three days ago, so I'm assuming I'll probably be here this next week. And then I'll need to run to the hardware store and grab random pieces of hardware that are missing. I don't think I'll do wiring today. That'll be on the next episode for sure. I got the key made last time and the locksmith broke this. I, luckily I found one of these for like 15 bucks. Still shouldn't have to pay for it though. Uh, but that lets me then open the fuel tank when we get this key out. Yeah, that's what I was waiting on when I first bought the motorcycle. Uh, but you saw last time we got into the fuel tank, so time to clean it up today. It smells like old gas. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> everything off of that so I'm gonna go ahead and oh I've got to take these emblems off after I do that I'm gonna go ahead and head out and grab some vinegar and fill that up All right, that'll do, I can clean this up. I think I might get some paint stripper while I'm out. There's a hardware store next to the grocery store here, so I'll go try that. All right, got some vinegar, six gallons, because I think I'm gonna try and clean the carb with that. And got some paint and just a thinner wheel. I have one nice sanding ball, uh, but that's not gonna get the hard to reach area, so I got one that'll get that. Uh, that's clear satin and that and some stripper so should be all we need all right so to keep anything from coming out of this little pinhole in the gas cap here the little vent hole i'm just gonna put a little sandwich bag in there that might work too when i hook this up to my pressure washer there in order to build some pressure and try and pop those dents out 
but I might need something thicker. Like maybe I'm thinking one of those uh, exercise bands that are really thin and wide, like a big rubber band, basically. Anyways, you can just see a little bit of the bird. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with vinegar. All right, so that took five and a quarter gallons of vinegar, which is good to know. It's a little bit more than a five gallon tank. I'm gonna let this dry off before I hit it with some stripper. Um, I've gotta do the dents at some point too, but I'll probably do that after I strip it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the carbs now. All right, um, I forgot to get a new choke cable, so I have to get one of those. The throttle cables, I already got new ones of, and I didn't want to deal with getting these out, so I just got them. Perfect, that's what I wanted to see was nice and clean on the inside of the throttle. Obviously the outside's a little dirty. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna completely rebuild this, so I might soak it in vinegar. Normally you don't clean carbs in vinegar of the rubber seals and stuff just the rubber but i should be replacing all those so i'll see what i do okay uh, i'm gonna go ahead and just cut the wires so they're out of the way the only one i was worried about is this one it looks like it's a green wire back here um i don't know where it goes but i never figured that out so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it now clean up this area and then i'll head back out there and do that tank Looks like there's 19 wires, so not even 20. That's not a big deal. All right, I'm not worried about the carb right, right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with some paint stripper. This should work in like an hour, it says. Get five layers of dried latex in under one hour. So I think I could have this done in about an hour. Um, I thought that was water on the top. That's just a little bit of vinegar. So I'm just gonna spray over that and see what happens. Well, I'll dry it up first, but if it leaks out, whatever, I'll just deal with that later. Well, it's been just like 30 seconds. I just put the bottle down and walked back and you can already see it working, so pretty cool. Just what I needed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap out this handlebar while I'm at it. I got a cruiser bar, but it's like a three inch bar or five inch bar instead of a seven. It's just like two inches shorter than this other bar. Two to three by the way I set it up. Um, I've got a new throttle, new levers. Uh, what I don't have are switches, but I'm gonna wire all new switches into just one five button switch, I think. 
and then eventually I'll probably get a new speedo tachometer display all in one unit just one circle right there and I obviously need a new headlight and blinkers the taillight works but a lot of the taillights come with blinkers built in so I might just get a little upgrade for that and an upgrade for the front but I don't need to do any of that to technically get it running so that's my main goal Oh, that one wasn't tight at all, though. That might be because the other one was already loose, though. But I didn't really loosen it that much. So let's see. Maybe. Rusty, so I might upgrade those. Get, like, some brass fittings maybe at the hardware store today or tomorrow or whatever. brush and clean that up all right I just got this tightened down it's a little narrower as well but I like it versus this old one and I just pulled it back closer to the driver a little bit to the seat All right, guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. Um, this is just, just, just almost gotten all the way through. Like these darker spots, it hasn't gotten all the way through yet. So you can tell I've been waiting all afternoon on this. I wasn't sure if it would take an hour, but they said you can leave it on for up to 24 hours. So we'll come back tomorrow and deal with this. That's it for today. See you on the next episode.